Let's see. File. Open. Pokemon Crystal. Can y'all see it? I don't see it on the screen. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what happened. It was working earlier. Let's see, what's happening? Maybe I have to make a new connection real quick. Hold on. Okay, remove capture window. Let's make a new one. Window capture. Add source. Window capture. Add source. Uh, Visual Boy Advance. Aha, here we go. So it's just, I just fixed this. Now it's in the corner. Let's scoot that over. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay, perfect. Can y'all see it now? Perfect. This really brings me back. <laughs> mm. A little too zoomed in? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, let's fix that. Uh, thank you guys for helping me out here. I'm new to streaming. And y'all can probably tell. Okay, let's try that now. Okay. New game. Are you a boy or are you a girl? I am a girl. Honestly, this game was revolutionary for me because I would always have to stick to making my characters boy names because of course it's a boy. I'm not a boy. Um, but when Crystal came out, I lost my mind that you could be a girl in a video game. Y'all don't even know, man. Zzz. Hmm, what? You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? It's 11 o'clock. Yes. How many minutes? Let's go seven. I know this is gonna not matter at all within this game. 
but let's do it. 11.07. Whoa, seven minutes. Seven min? Yikes. Day 11.07. Overslept. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. You can just write the you have room for Professor in there. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Whee! People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some people battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? See, when I was a kid, I actually named my character Amanda after my sister-in-law when my oldest brother had just gotten married. But I'm gonna stick to my name. Lauren, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. Oh, and I remember as a kid being so angry that you had such a detailed character at the beginning. And you played as this monstrosity. But I like the blue hair. I've always wanted blue hair. Turn on the PC. Let's see what draw item. Nothing. So there's no potion. Let's see what's on TV. It's a TV. Okay. Nothing about Stand By Me in this one. Oh no. Oh, Lauren! Our neighbor, Prof. Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do some... something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Lauren received Pokegear. Pokemon gear, or just Pokegear. It's essential if you want if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? It's Thursday. Oops. Yeah, wait. Today's Thursday, right? Okay, right, I'm waiting for my phone to tell me. Yes, it's Thursday. Alright. Thursday, is it? Yes. Is it daylight savings time now? Is it? Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? But let me do a quick Google search. Because it always bugs me when I sync it to the wrong time.
Okay. Yes, it is daylight savings, I think. Yep, it's daylight savings. Gotta be accurate, y'all, even though it's not gonna matter at all. <laughs> yes. 11, 12 a.m. EST. Is that okay? Come home to adjust your clock for daylight saving time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yes. Don't you just turn- Okay, you're gonna tell me how to use it. Don't you just turn the pokey here on and select the phone icon? Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient. Okay, let's check out what's in the kitchen. Hello, Lauren. I'm visiting. Lauren, have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming a becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. Okay. Mom's specialty. Cinnabar Volcano Burger. See, this is one of my favorite details in this game because it's Johto. Oh, hi, Benson. Uh, thanks for stopping by. The... And for those who don't know, my Animal Crossing Island's name it actually is Cinnabar. It's got way too many flowers. The sink is spotless. Mom likes it. Clean. Let's see what's in the fridge. Fresh water and tasty lemonade. Let's go out. Okay. Let's talk to this jerk. Hmm. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? And he kicks you in the booty. Alright, we have to go in here. So, I think Elm is one of my favorite professors because he's so genuine. He's so surprised whenever you bring him anything new. Like a Pokemon egg? He loses his shit. I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Lauren. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Yes. Thanks, Lauren. You're a great help. That's what you say to a 10-year-old when they, when you manipulate them into agreeing to do something. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Email. Yeah, email was still pretty new when this game came out, believe it or not. Or at least it was just getting popular. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. Watch out! Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
It's ingrained into my brain. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Yep, that's his name. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that, that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait! I know! Lauren, can you go in our, our place? I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. He is stored in the balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Lauren. Go on, pick one. Okay, Cyndaquil. No. <laughs> uh, Cyndaquil. Yeah, second try. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon? Yes. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Lauren received Cyndaquil. Okay, I need your, your guys' help. I'm gonna- I need to give Cyndaquil a nickname. I'm gonna try to nickname all the Pokemon I can. Give a nickname? Yes. Superhero or mythological creature, Phoenix. Phoenix work. Um, I think I'm going to go with Phoenix. check if I spelled that right. Yes, I spelled it right. Cool. See, like, I'm an English major, but I do not trust my spelling at all because that's what autocorrect is for. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove, in the, the next city over. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. Lauren got Elm's phone number. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. Sorry about the silence. I had to check my Facebook group that I'm in charge of. Make sure there's no shenanigans happening. Lauren, I'm counting on you. Okay. Let's see. Just go. Sending a ten-year-old out on an errand with wild, feral animals everywhere. Lauren, I want you to have this for your errand. Got a potion. 
Lauren put the potion in the item pocket. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. So we need to do a bit of grinding because I know we have a battle, a rival battle coming up. Well, the first Pokemon of the game is Sentret. Let's go, Phoenix. Oh no. Early game battles are really stressful. not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. Okay, so there's this area over here. I think if you've played this game, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's where Fanfi is. And I've only found one once. So I think I'm going to spend some time looking for it. Oh, there's a berry. I forgot about that berry. Use tackle. Fifteen experience points. Ugh. All right, gotta get through this early grind. battles I'm gonna start running from until I get to the Pokemon Center. Smoke screen. Pokemon Center, heal up, and we're gonna take a quick break, because I gotta go to the bathroom really bad, because I had some coffee. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, I'm dying. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, hope to see you again. Okay, bye. I'll be right back, guys. hold it any longer. <laughs> catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. This is the sea, as you can see. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Here, it's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. Lauren received map card. Lauren's Poke Gear now has a map. Poke, be Poke Gear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. So it's like a. It's really like a hit clip, if anyone remembers what those are. It was like a. music listening thing from really early 2000s, like when Britney Spears was in her prime, and it would just be a little chip that you'd stick into this little player the size of maybe, but it's smaller than the palm of your hand, for sure, like, it's not that big, but the catch was it only played one minute of the song only a minute <laughs> and they actually sold a lot including to me because i don't think mp3 players and ipods were quite a thing yet or they were if there were they were really expensive so who knows okay The trick that you can use for later 
in this game. Do not use any berries if you can. Like, I forgot to take the berry away from Cyndaquil, but for the rest of them, I'm not going to be using berries because there is going to be a sick mill tank in Olivine City that you'll need to save them for. Let's see, here I'll share one with you. So that's two berries that I've got. And I believe you need like a weird amount, like at least from five, at least five, maybe 10, I don't remember the exact number, but we'll see when we get there. Lauren put the berry in the item pocket. Check trees for berries. They just drop right off. So if you try to go this way, you'll see that there's a Pokemon battle. Go, Rattata! Tackle! What? This is a big battle. Leave me alone! Alright, so we have to go up this way. Let's see, and I believe Ladybug is over here somewhere, but Ladybug sucks. Like, it had so much potential to be good, but no. Okay, tackle again. Use tackle. I use tackle. See, early gameplay is riveting. Phoenix's speed fell. Fight, tackle. What's up with string shot? Is it because I'm a fire type? Oh, thank you, Aztec Dragon. I've never been very confident in my voice, but thanks for the compliment. Phoenix's speed fell. Phoenix used tackle. Goodbye. A critical hit! Like it mattered. Enemy Caterpie fainted. Phoenix gained 30 experience points. Oh, and thanks for the follow, Aztec Dragon. Okay, keep onwards and upwards. Oh, there's a Weedle. Oh, shit. Oh, 
God. I hate this. And this is the game where you take damage every time you walk. See, if I, I think if I get to the Pokemon, Mr. Pokemon's house, I'll get my Pokemon healed. Oh, um, uh, have a good day, Aztec Dragon. Nice, for, nice of you to stop by. Poison Cure Berry or... Oh, cool. Okay. Let's get in here. Hello, hello, you must be Lauren. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want, Professor Elm. To examine. Lauren received mystery egg. Lauren put the mystery egg in the key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Professor Elm will know it. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're Lauren. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, and what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To, to researchers like Professor Elm and... I, Pokemon are, 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 bleh, are our friends. There we go. Are our friends. That's my Texan coming out. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah. You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? Okay, another errand. Just doing errands for adults who could do it themselves. See? This is the latest version of Pokedex. Not the Pokedex, just Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Lauren received Pokédex. Go, go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete that Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Lauren, I'm counting on you. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. See, I was right. I'm depending on you. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Hello, Lauren. It's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It, oh no. Please, get back here now! Like... Okay. 
Okay, and I need to remember to stop by the Pokemon Center before I leave Cherry Grove. I just need to get a fire move. Screenshot. That doesn't matter. I'm still faster than you. Oh boy, you might actually end up faster than me. Use tackle. A critical hit, like it mattered. Enemy counter prefixed. Phoenix gained 22 experience points. They massacred his sprite in Gen 6 and 7, 8. Or not 8, he's not even in 8. Ugh. Such a good Pokemon. which Pokemon show up at night or the day. Like I know, um, I may have to leave the game open for a little while in order for me to get a Poliwag that I want. See, I won't be able to get a Politoed, but at least a Poliwrath would be cool. Doctor saying, hope to see you again. Do you want me to get sick? I'm gonna come over the counter and get you. Okay. I'm actually gonna do a save here. Save game. Gotcha. Hmm, grumpy face. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you? Hmm. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. 
Let's see, I think... I like this guy better as a rival than anybody else. Because, like, you feel like he's wrong doing what he's doing, and you do your own thing, whatever it may be, even just picking the ones you like, and, like, you'll notice that he has a, he'll eventually have a haunter that stays a haunter, because he doesn't have friends to trade with, so... That tells you a lot. Is it out? Go to dial. Let's see, should I name him Silver or something silly? If I don't name him Silver, I'm gonna name him Poopy Pants. Close. I shouldn't have used that smoke screen. God. <laughs> but I leveled up. Huh. Are you happy you won? Lauren got 300 poke yen for winning. Greatest Pokemon trainer. What an ass. Alright, back to the Pokemon Center because I almost died. Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name?
Okay. I need you guys' opinion. What should I name him? Try not to use curse words because I'll be posting this on YouTube as well. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know John Tanner 27, we often go back and forth in battling, and I'm just starting to win more often because I still lose every time. But now we're pretty even. So let's do that. I like that idea. And plus Trump, every time I see his name, it infuriates me. So I wouldn't be able to just deal with that a whole game. Hey, the game is about luck. You just gotta roll the dice. Okay, so John was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. So I like to do it from this angle, this conversation. Lauren, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Lauren handed the mystery egg to Professor Elm. This? Is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. Um, what? Oops, I shouldn't have read that. Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Lauren, is that true? But that's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Lauren, you may have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon, too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Lauren, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, Make sure that you talk to your mom. I guess. Oh. Lauren! Use these on your Pokedex quest. Lauren received Pokeball. To add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. Lauren put the Pokeball in the ball pocket. Okay. How many Pokeballs do I have? I have five. I can work with that. Oh wait, I just talked to my mom first. I'm not used to that. That's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? Hmm. So, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money is important. Do you want me to save your money? Yes. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Hmm. Be careful. 
Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now, go on. So, the benefits of letting your mom save some of your money is that she'll buy you stuff like restorative items, plushies. She'll eventually get you the Snorlax and the Lapras plushie, which are pretty big, like beanbag size, almost. Or small bed. Okay, now I'm just gonna get this. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Sure, why not? Wild Rattata appeared. Okay, and it's the guy doing this. Dude. was caught. That's how you do it. If you weaken them first, Pokemon are easier to catch. Let's see, I've trained to center it before. And that's level two, so I'm not catching that. Saving off the grinding for now because I don't want to get too over leveled. Alright. Um. Maybe I'll pick Radita if I find a stronger one. I know there's a Fanfy in here somewhere. Whether I'll actually find it is the question. Gym slave for sure. I'm just trying to find someone higher than level three. No, definitely not. Okay, so Fanfy's here, but it may be past morning time since it's. 12 o'clock right now. Wild well, 
catch up here. Nope. Okay, yeah. I don't think Banthi's here right now. It says it's only in the mornings. And I think we're a little bit too late. Since this is an emulator, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and I think I'm going to try to train a Zubat for the first time. Get me a Crobat. Okay, and I'm not picking Pidgey because I'm gonna use Togepik. So I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on. Let's battle. Youngster Joey wants to battle. Oh, ha ha ha. Youngster Joey sent out Ratata. This is the battle of the century, y'all. Joey was defeated. Ah, I lost again, doggone it. Got 64 puppy again. Sent some to mom. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Mikey wants to battle. Sent out Pidgey. Alright, Cackle. Wow.
gangster Mikey was defeated. That's strange, I won before. She's not a trainer. I'm not a trainer. But if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Oh. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. I always kind of hated this kid. I was like, no, I found you, bitch. Catcher Dawn was defeated. Har, you're too strong. Lauren got 48 Pokéon for winning. Sent some to Mom. a flying gym. Phew, okay. I made it into the dark cave where I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for a Geodude and possibly a Dunsparce if I run into one. But I highly doubt that. And I'm thinking of getting a Zubat in here as well. But I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. So just chill out and I'll be back.
I'm back everyone. So I'm just gonna walk up and down. Because this generation was the worst for trying to navigate in the dark. Alright, let's see who this is. Zubat. Yeah, I will. I really want to get a crow bat this time. I've never had one before. Okay, fight. Tackle. Please don't kill it. Oof. Gathers with others and hangs from the ceilings of old buildings and caves. Yes! And I'm actually gonna go for a D&D NPC's name from uh, the campaign Curse of Strahd. So I'm gonna go with Strahd. Double check if I spelled something wrong. It's Strad von Zadovich. because it's better than Gen 1 and you don't have to worry about abilities yet, just the type advantages. And you can just play casually, you don't have to do anything competitive, you can just kick back and enjoy the nostalgia. Okay, another Should be, I should be tripping over geodudes right now. Oops. Oh, Geodude, finally. 
one should be stronger. Cool. Catch it! <laughs> Dang it! I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I found another potion, so I can try this again. Out of their sturdy bodies, they bash against each other in a contest to prove who is harder. I know some guys who do that too. You have a nickname to Geodude? Of course. Okay, female Geodude. I'm trying to think of a gemstone of some sort. Or some kind of rock name. Mm. Let's see. I can only think of the crystal gem names from Stephen Universe. Mm. Let's see. I'm gonna pick Garnet. 
She's one of my favorites, and it's also my birthstone. Okay, this one I don't have to double check about spelling. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, here's a sleepy guy. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's bitterberry. Obtained bitterberry. Lauren put the bitterberry in the item pocket. Fruit, uh huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Mm. Yeah, so, um, speaking of just kind of divulging from like the sleep sounds, I actually can't make snoring sounds because I don't have tonsils or adenoids. And that's kind of what vibrates whenever you do the snorting thing. I'm not even going to try because it just sounds like I'm inhaling air. Okay, so this, this little kid. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Bug Catcher Wade wants to battle. Bug Catcher Wade sent out Caterpie. Of course. Okay, Cackle. Ooh. <clears throat> Fainted. Phoenix gained 22 experience points. Back to use Caterpie. Change Pokemon? No. Sent out Caterpie. Wade is about to use Weedle. More unchanged Pokemon. Uh, no. Weedle. The reason why I'm not using the other Pokemon is that they're still weak from my battle with them to catch them. Heal balls were not. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, Weedle again. Level 11. Aww. Got 32 bucks. 
bucks. Send some to mom. Got a Pokeball. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, go, go, go. Go! No, 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 no! Whew! Made it! Gave me the most anxiety as a kid. Hope to see you again. Sure you do. Okay. Oh, what does Garnet have? Everstone. Yeah, I need to get that away from you. have some serious backtracking to do to get to where Garnet and Strahd will be able to actually fight. Uh, let's see, that one's stronger. <laughs> I need to keep it... Oh, shoot. No! Phew! Okay, got away safely. Do you remember back in the good old days where the, when there wasn't a run button? like to do is make all of my Pokemon at the same level because I am weird like that so if you guys have any questions you want to ask anything you want to chat about feel free to um, join in, in the chat or maybe get a friend to join us anything that would be cool this is the Cool Cave Club. Okay. So, Strahd should be able to handle this. Okay, maybe not. Oh dear. Okay, let's switch to Geodude. things up. Oh god. Well, I did it. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the capture too much. 
but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that very well. I'll do it as I'm grinding for sure. as they possibly can for battle. Okay. Strong through the level three. Nope, not quite. She appeared. Okay, let's see what leech life does. Nothing. Just do that to speed things up, I guess. Wild well, Pitchy appeared. Go, Strahd! Yeah, that's bug type. That's not gonna work at all. take way too long. So I'm gonna be in here for a little while. Thank you. 
Come on, Strahd, you can do this. This is rib riveting gameplay, I know. two turns. right back in a moment. Uh, just hang tight. 